Yeah, and let me just say, you know, I, I think that I was I was really disappointed uh, when I saw uh, on my email this morning uh, that 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 there's a group of African Americans who had gotten together and decided that I deserved an F as it relates to issues in the African American community. Um, you know, the F that we refer to in, in, in our advertising is an F that was given to their talent by the NAACP. It wasn't given by people who worked for the campaign. It wasn't given by political operatives. It wasn't given by campaign contributors. Um, it was given by the NAACP, and it was based on his voting record, Liz. He votes with President Bush 94% of the time. That's the facts. He is um, a very close supporter and ally of President Bush. And um, all the, the makeup report cards that political operatives want to, to put out there or political contributors, I'll tell you, though, I was confused. Um, when I read about this presentation that these people did, and, and they put out this silly report card saying, I've done nothing in the African-American community. Well, I am really, I hope people look at my record, that I have, that the things I've worked on and the things I've done over the last 22 years as it relates to the African-American community. Um, I have a long and substantial record of standing up and standing up strong for issues that help the community and well Claire um, talk to us talk to us about some of those issues that you've done that you've stood up for well I mean even back when um, when I first came to the legislature from a white suburban dif district in Kansas City I sponsored the legislation to give um, DC voting rights um, the District of Columbia it, 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 it is wrong that the people that live in the District of Columbia primarily African-American have been not been denied their opportunity to fully participate in our democracy and as a, as a young 20-something year old, um, I saw the injustice of that and I sponsored it. In fact, you know, some of the good old boys laughed at me when I sponsored it and because I thought it was the right thing to do. I read the fight for divestiture of our pension funds in, in South Africa uh, when we were fighting the, the, the fight in South Africa. Um, I, I have, in fact, uh, worked hard for funding on issues such as drug treatment and prevention programs and, 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 and health care initiatives that try to reach out to, um, to, to people that have needs, health care needs in the African American community. Um, I have worked hard on diversity issues, whether it is uh, prosecuting, uh, whether it is doing audits on minority business participation at the state of Missouri, or whether it's how I do my own hiring practices in my own office. Um, the highest ranking officials in my offices, uh, both prosecutor and um, uh, uh, auditor, have been African American. My, my deputy at the, uh, at the auditor's office is a lawyer and a CPA who's also African American. Uh, when I took over that office, there were no people of color in the auditor's office, none, uh, under Republicans. Uh, that's, it was a Republicanly held office when I took it, and we were able to, to reach out and hire a number of of highly qualified professional auditors um, that are African American. And so I, I just, it, and, and here's the thing that was really confusing to me, Liz, and maybe you can explain this to me. The NAACP gives Jim Talent an F on his report card for the way he has voted in Congress. And they have a, a press event trying to make up some problems I have, which are not real. And the head of the NAACP in St. Louis is there. Well, no, I think to be fair, Claire, I think that, that we, need to under, we need to underscore, we, we have the most, if the NAACP gave out indictments, if the NAACP um, charged people with crimes, we would have the most indicted uh, head of the NAACP in the state of Missouri. So the fact that this person that has such a horrible legacy with this NAACP, who has been, who has had the, the NAACP taken away from his from his charge, I think it speaks volumes of of Jim Talent and who he invites to his parties. Is he is is he still in charge of the NAACP? It, I don't think that he is. I don't I oh, don't think okay. that he is. But I but I know that I know that the 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 history of of Harold Crumpton's um, uh, tenure over the NAACP is one of the worst in the in the the, the state of Missouri, the city of St. Louis it's history. Kind of, it seems kind of weird to me that his organization is the one on a national basis that, that analyzes voting records and gives out these report cards so people can get the facts. But, but it he... seems weird to me that his organization on a national basis would uh, judge Senator Talent's voting record and then he'd 
show up at a at a campaign event for him. I just thought that was strange. But again, uh, Harold Crumpton is um, so has has been criticized by the national NAACP more than any other uh, NAACP head in the history of the city of St. Louis. So it's not surprising that they would have the worst <laughs> at their at their event.